uses the word Hades to refer to something other than the Greek myth. And the Bible does. In every case that the word Hades is used, it's used in the Bible to refer to the place, the realm of the, un, the, of the dead, the unseen realm, not the Greek myth. Now you can get any Greek lexicon, the, the complete word study dictionary, Thayer's Greek to English lexicon, Art and Gingrich, Strong Greek Dictionary, any one of them, they'll tell you this. But Terry does not say that the Bible uses the word uh, Hades to refer to the Greek myth because it doesn't. Terry doesn't use it that way. They have to keep up their lies. They claim that Terry refer, uh, said that the Holy Spirit happened on Pentecost the baptism of the Holy Spirit happened on Pentecost because the room was filled up and they were immersed. Now I've known Terry for oh I don't know ten years. I've been a part of his alleged contradictions group for a long long time. And I've read a lot of his writings. And I have never read where he has written anything close to this. I want to see it, Tim. I want to see where he wrote this. Now you say he wrote it, I want to see it. Produce it. There was a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the room where they were sitting. And cloven tongues like as a fire sat upon each of them. Upon who? The twelve. Not the hundred and twenty, but the twelve. That's in the first few verses of Acts chapter 2. That's what Terry was talking about. You and Mark, you've got to take everything that a person takes out, says out of context. I know that because you've done that to me. And I don't doubt that you've done it for Terry. You've done it with the Lord. <coughs> and they say that Ter Ten says that Terry says that spirits are made out of spirit stuff. Well, no, that's not true either. Terry didn't say that. Here's the truth of this. Terry said, where is the statement? Goldsmith are ye that spirits cannot suffer torment in any kind of flame. And this is a, a doctrine that Ten Road argues that when people die and go to hell in eternity that they're just going to be burned up. They're going to be annihilated. But the devil, now he's going to be punished forever and ever and ever, but the devil's a spirit. And so Terry asked him, what kind of stuff is the devil made of? Ten couldn't answer, so he goes and claims that Terry says the spirits are made of spirit stuff. You know these people need to get their hearts right with God. They talk about Christians studying God's Word and they don't even believe in the inspiration of the Word. They don't believe in the inerrancy of the Word. I don't know how many times I've read where ten and Mark Boltz have said there are many, many, many mistakes in, in the Bible. They don't believe in the authority of the Word. They don't believe in the all-sufficiency of the Bible. Mark just flat out says, is the Bible all-sufficient? No. 
If that were the case, if that were true, he says, each person could purchase a copy of the Bible and be saved. Well, I, that's what I've been preaching for the last 29 years. A person can purchase a copy of the Bible and be saved. That's what we've been sending. The churches of Christ been sending Bibles overseas for the for years. And so people can read it and learn what to do to be saved. But Mark Goldsmith says, no, that can't happen. He said, can a person understand the spiritual things without the tr one true baptism of the Holy Spirit? The Bible said, no. In other words, unless you have this special leading of the Holy Spirit, you can't understand what the Bible says. So it's not up to you. You can't understand what the Bible says. It's all up to God. And if God doesn't choose you, if He decides you're not going to be saved, there's nothing you can do. It's not your fault. It's God's fault for not choosing to save you. This is Goldsmith and Ten Rose Doctrine, and this is the doctrine of the modern baptism of the Holy Spirit. This is a pack of lies that's going to cause millions to be led away into damn, eternal damnation. Don't believe it. Don't follow it. Don't listen to it. Walk away. Study the Bible for yourself. Friends, God gave you a brain to think with so that you can study the Bible on your own and come to your own conclusion and follow Him out of love and follow Him of your own free will. Now, if you're not a Christian, you can become one and you don't have to wait for some direct leading of the, of the operation of the Holy Spirit. All you have to do is to pick up your Bible and start studying it. It will tell you what to do to become a Christian. You don't need someone like Tenrod and Mark Goldsmith to tell you to wait for some special leading of the Spirit to lead you. They're false teachers. They're going to lead you into hell. Whether they believe it or not, hell will be eternal. The, only, the, the devil won't be the only one burning there for eternal, eternity. Everyone who refuses to obey and who does not know God will be there as well. Don't let them fool you. Obey while there's still time. Study His Word, believe in Jesus, repent of your sins, confess Christ before men, and be baptized into the water of grave of baptism. And then Christ will automatically add you to His church. Now if we can do anything for you, we'd be glad to, to help you out in any way we can. If you live in the Bell area, we worship at the corner of 8th and Oak. We have a new preacher coming in on the 29th. His name is Robert Notgrass. Young man, wife, and two children. He'll be able to help you out in any way. I'm retiring, but I'm, I will be here on the Internet to help out in any way I can. Don't put it off. And don't believe the goldsmiths. Thank you for your time.